Welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. If you are new here, I thank you for clicking on this video. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you for coming back. If you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the journey with us. And let's get started. So it is Stuffing Sunday. You know what that means. That means I have my wallet, I have my money, and I have my sinking fund. But I also have my cheat sheet. Y'all ready? Let's get started. So in the last video, I went ahead and showed you all um, how much money I spent and what I have left over. So in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and stuff my categories. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lay all the money out, take it out of the envelopes, and just go ahead and lay it right. So I'm going to jump to that clip with the money already laid out. I have my money all laid out and I am ready to go. Here's my wallet and my sinking funds. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, so first up in my wallet, you guys know that first up is restaurants. So that's here. Um, so restaurants gets hundred and fifty dollars so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do three twenties from here uh, let's see a total of five twenties total of three tens A total of three fives and five ones. All right, so that's $150 and it is going into restaurants. So that's going to go ahead and sit in the front and I put it in just like that. So I know this is what we have to spend. So the next category is date night so date night is going to get $75 so date night gets 150 120 and 15 and that just sits in here like that and date night just stays in there until we're ready to use it so the next category is gas and gas is going to get $175 that is 350s that is 120 and 15 so there we are that's the money and it's going to go ahead and sit in here just put it in there like that so the next up is groceries and groceries is going to get $250. So let's go ahead and add groceries now. That's going to get it's going to get two $100 bills here, two 20s and two fives. And remember I tell you that I always split it up like this so that I know what is for which week and um, it goes into the wallet like this. And once I start spending this week's money, I go ahead and fold this money here and then it all sits in the wallet like that. So I don't overspend for the week. It is terrible. It's a terrible feeling to get to the end of a pay period and you want to go grocery shopping and you don't have any money left over. So the easiest thing to do is just divide it up by the weeks. Um, so miscellaneous is going to get $100 from me. And that means that it's going to get three 20s, two 10s, two 5s, a 
I'm sorry, three fives and five ones. So that's my miscellaneous money right here. So I am going to get my hair braided this week. So I know I'm going to end up spending some of this money on that. The children, they get, the babies get $10 each. So they're going to get one five here and five ones each. My oldest gets a $20 bill. That's her money here. So I have, um, 10 here for one child, oldest child, and then the baby. So that's going to go into the back of my wallet, like so. The next thing that gets stuffed inside of my wallet is going to be um, my Tide money. So that's $200 for Tide, and that's going to sit right here. And then next up is daycare. It's for the babies. Babies get $150, so that's $100 and a $50 here. I'm going to see my mother tomorrow. She gets the money, so I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here. The next up is my phone bill. So that's a $50, a $20, and a $10, and that's going to sit in the back part of my wallet like so um and then the next thing that go i think yeah that's it for my wallet so everything is stuffed in here so now i'm on to my sinking funds and we all know that Avery gets $60 for gymnastics, so she gets a 50 and a 10. And by the way, Avery is baby girl. So her money goes here into her sinking fund for gymnastics. My oldest, her aftercare is $50, and that's going to go into her sinking fund here, waiting for um, that payment to be due. And then I give $100 in each of the next categories. $100 goes into vacation and $100 goes into my friend's wedding fund. That wedding fund saved me when it was time to pay for um, my taxes that were due because it was there just collecting. So I'm going to keep doing that instead of changing my deductions or withholdings because um, I liked having the money throughout the year just in case something popped up. And we're going to keep saving anyway. So I'd rather do it that way than change anything because we are dependent on the money that's coming in so far. So then for my personal, I give myself $53. That's $150 and three ones. And that just goes for me for whatever I want to buy. So what I said was that I was going to just save this money here. And then at the end of the year, half of it is going to go into my student loan payment. And then the other half is going to be whatever it is that I want for the year. So you guys know the drill. Every other category from here gets $22. And I'm just going to play some music and let you guys watch me stuff. <laughs> 